on Stembox is exploring bridges. And one of the techniques we're going to be exploring in this video is how to build a suspension bridge and comparing that to the construction of a beam bridge. So to get started, make sure you have three straws, your paper clip, twine, tape, scissors, and a cup. Now we can get started. Let's go. For us, the first step in this experiment is going to be creating our towers. So to do that, we're going to cut one of our straws in half with our scissors. Just about eyeballing, that's about right. You can even fold the straw in half if that helps. So we have two halves that are the same size. We can even trim it to make sure that it's equal, just like that. And now we need to cut two slits in the top. These are the parts in which our straw, our twine, excuse me, is going to rest. So just make a tiny little slit. Make it the same size on each straw. And we're going to take either two boxes that you have at home left over from STEM box research, or two chairs, whatever works for you, a table, a surface, and move them close enough so that they're about seven and three quarters of an inch away from each other. You have your tape measure, so you can help measure that. Or you can just use your baseline straw to make the measurement yourself. So we have our boxes about mm, seven and three quarter inches away apart now. And I'm gonna take some tape and I'm just gonna go ahead and tape these towers to each box. So I wanna make sure that the slits on my tower are facing the other box. So make sure that they are that way. So now that we have our towers assembled, it's time to build the beam. The beam is the part of a bridge that cars will drive across. So to do this, we're gonna cut about four feet of twine, maybe even three, you don't need to use all of it. And just go ahead and give that a snip. Now wrap it around your straw twice. So one, two, and let these ends hang. The most important part for us is going to be constructing our beam and taping it to the base of our towers. So if you push your boxes together, that should be enough pressure to hold it while you tape. Great, our beam is set up, and the next step is to set up our suspension cable. So I accidentally undid one of my loops. So you should have a loop that looks like this, two loops around. Take one of the ends of your string and slide it into the slit you made earlier. And you can pull it a little bit tighter if you need to. And then you're gonna tape one end to your box so that it's a little bit tight, like this. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the other one. We're gonna move it through here and tape it to the end. All right. The reason this works so well is because when you're putting pressure on this bridge beam, what you're doing is you're also distributing pressure to this twine, this cable, that in turn supports this beam further. Now, if we were to take this and we were to remove the twine, we would have what is only a beam bridge, and that would be much weaker than what we have right now because the force is only being distributed across the beam, and that makes it break a lot easier. So to test your suspension bridge, all you have to do is make a bucket cup, which is what we did in an earlier video, but if you didn't see that, you just take your cup, you have a parent, use scissors or a knife to poke two holes on opposite ends and string twine through it. Then you can hang it from your beam using an unfolded paper clip by hooking the small S around the knot and the big S around your beam and hanging it from a higher surface. Then you can add weights to test the strength of your bridge. So we're gonna compare this suspension bridge against a beam bridge, which we're about to make in just a second. Now to make our beam bridge, which is different from our suspension bridge in that it lacks a twine or a cable to support the beam, we're going to make this pretty much the same way we made the suspension bridge but we're going to make our towers half as tall and we're not going to add twine to this. So this is the road that the cars will drive on and you can test this bridge against your suspension bridge if you don't believe us when we say that a suspension bridge is stronger. So let's go ahead and do that right now. When we think of suspension bridges, two great bridges come to mind. The first is the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California. The other is the Brooklyn Bridge in New York City. Fun fact about the Brooklyn Bridge, one of the first female engineers in the country was a lead project manager on that. Emily Roebling took over after her husband died and was a huge contributing person to this bridge. So we have her to thank for that. Now that we have our bridge all set up, it's time to test it. So for you at home, 
home, make sure you have coins that are the same weight and carefully and slowly add them to your bucket and record how much weight it takes to break your suspension bridge versus your beam bridge. We can't wait to see your results, so make sure you send them in. Thank you guys so much for watching our video on how to build a suspension bridge. We can't wait to experiment with you some more. So stay tuned to learn how to make a Warren truss bridge and a Howe truss bridge from popsicle sticks and straws. We'll see you guys there. Thanks.